dear. The differences between this side of town and the others is striking. Look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity, especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian. The sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. You haggle like a merchant born. Deal. Here's the lyrium, then. You, uh, probably don't want to take it out of the box. I'll be waiting for the next order somewhere out of sight. Say, just around the corner. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends. For money. Why don't you take a look? What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. <laughs> I'm no fool. Nobody just wanders around in Dust Town. You're here looking for me, and I don't like it. You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Try not to look too incompetent. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm a gonna fall into the sky. Yes. <laughs> when my doll left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Nugs? Yes. They don't got much meat on them, but down here you can't be picky. Better than nothing. What for? You going to cook them up yourself? 
Yeah, I can find a nug for you. Could even get one from outside the city. Those ones in the deeps don't eat as much garbage. I don't know what they eat, but they always seem healthier, you know? Shiny coats, bright eyes. How much you giving me? Don't know. Depends on how big a one I catch. Give me some time. I'll hunt him down for you. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Well, thank you truly, my lord. That's right good of you. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the Diamond Quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? It's pretty much as you see it. The raw stone where the castless live, because we're not welcome elsewhere. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. Means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. I'd say it was an accident try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. Well, now I know you're not from here. The Carta's who runs Dust Town. Jarvie has got her boys everywhere. They tell you, and you jump, because they're the only ones with the coin and the steel to get whatever they want. <laughs> if you have that kind of coin, Salroka, you don't want to drink what they've got here. Take yourself up to Tapsters. Long as your face isn't branded, they've got anything you want. I'll just stay out of your way then. Spare a bit for the needy? H have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. A question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining cast. But since the boy was born, I've not seen nose or heel of the lout. And me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I... But no, I can't bear to even think of it. My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining cast family. We weren't wealthy, but I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone, and it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. I fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know, tough and smart, and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was castless, and I think, no, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. I cannot abandon my baby. The Shapers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born castless. But they never carried a child. He cries like any other infant, and smiles when he's warm and full. I can't kill him because of an accident of birth, an accident I forced on him? Y you would do that? But why? Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapsters in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. <laughs> I 
Got him. He's all squirmy, but he's a big fella. Forty silver? Real silver? I... I could buy something proper with that. A good meal, maybe a real blanket. I knew you'd be good on your word. Nice doing business. Oh, it's one of those subterranean bunny pigs. Oh, look at him. Come here, you. Thank you so much. You've made my day. Very well. Watch out for that puddle of whatever it is. Win? Yes, Alistair. My shirt has a hole in it. I see. And? I mend it. Can't you mend your own clothes? Why do I have to do it? Sometimes I pick up too much fabric and it ends up all puckered and the entire garment hangs wrong afterward. And you're, you know, grandmotherly. Grandmothers do that sort of thing, don't they? Darning socks and whatnot. Don't want me to have to fight dark sport in a shirt with a hole, do you? I might get bigger. I might catch cold. Oh, all right. I'll mend your shirt the next time we set up camp. Oh, and while you're at it, the elbow's kind of being action too. Careful, young man. Your puckered garments may be the least of your problems. other in the arena, do they? I mean, why would anyone find that entertaining? Watch for Piotr Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. Front row seats at every grand proving since my father took me on his shoulders. Name's Varek. I got a controlling interest in a mine off the old Rustin Taig. But my backers know not to hand me a pick any day there's blood on the stone, if you know what I mean. Sure. Like King Endrin was just a noble. Approving is a sacred art. Any dispute brought to the proving round is settled by the ancestor's decision. And no one can protest it. They change from round to round. Sometimes it's bare hands, sometimes weapons, sometimes pairs or squads. It's announced when the fight begins. That's about all the warning anyone gets. Me? Are you out of your mind? I'm a miner, not a warrior. I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? That sounded genuine. Um, if you weren't looking for me, do me a favor and pretend I never said anything. I left the proving on my own business, and I have no intention of discussing it. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Iduken girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But... We didn't exactly stop seeing each other. She's married to a prominent Desher's heir. We should have stopped a long time ago, but... I love her. Do you know what that's like? Now Balin found out, and I can't even help my cousin for fear he'll tell her husband. N no One of his fighters, a woman named Miyaja, she's the one who threatened to expose me. There's no way to guarantee that. I appreciate the thought, but they really have me over a shaft here. They have letters. 
love letters Revelka wrote me, if they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. You'd do that? I don't know how to thank you. I, I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. If you can make sure that evidence doesn't get out, I'd be happy to fight in the proving. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. Very well. It is begun. This area is off limits. Combatants only. Is that an accusation? It's illegal to threaten proving fighters outside the ring. Not helping them keep their dirty secrets, though. That's another story. You haven't been here long. You'll learn soon enough. Nothing in Orzammar is private. As long as someone can find out. Come on, Luke John. We have a fight to prepare for. Right away. until after the fight. Guards, remove this intruder. As you say. The proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. Where did you get those? No, 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 I, I don't want to know. Just... thank you. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. I will be glad to fight for Haramont in the proving's. Thank you again, friend. all there making warden technically I haven't done anything wrong we have no business unless you want to make a few coins not that I'm suggesting anything but you're holding the prize now I have a collector in mind who actually sells the item doesn't matter it's your call as always I let people make their own decisions Yes, well, I'll keep my nose clean until you're long gone. How about that? I'm just a businessman. I merely exploit opportunities. I won't get in your way. We have nothing to talk about, Warden. I haven't done a thing. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. She doesn't talk to anyone. I am Ferindin. I serve as Hanashan's trainer and translator. As a silent sister, Hanashan cut out her tongue like the ancient paragon, Astith the Grey. As you might imagine, she requires my services for more mundane tasks. They're an order of female warriors, founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. The woman who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. The Silent Sisters support the Sitting King. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. 
May the ancestors choose their champion wisely. You looking at something? Get out of here! You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. Far be it from me to tell you your business, but you might want to take a closer look before you jump into local politics. Were I you, I'd follow my example. Resign and let Haramon fight his own battles. I'm Guidon, by the way. It's been a pleasure. It's not so much what happened, as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Haramon's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? Well... That's not what I expected. I know Lord Haramont. He's an upstanding man. He'd never lie to someone's face. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Maybe I will at that. May the Ancestors favor both our fights. It shall be done. Fine to see you here, Warden. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the Provings. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. Assembly restricted, not illegal. All that ritual lets nobles rationalize it's not a blood sport. They don't like commoners using the arena for petty squabbles. Some of us prefer an honest spectacle. And sometimes someone needs a good beating, and all that talking gets in the way. Say the word and I'll line up a team from one of the younger houses. They don't often get a chance to test themselves in the provings. They're a hungry bunch who employ unusual tactics. Understand that there's no concern for fairness here. Your battles will be hard won. We've got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult, I assure you. Job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipts. Let me know if you want to go again. We've got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult, I assure you. Got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult, I assure you.
job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipts. Let me know if you want to go again. We've got some young fighters ready to go. This will be difficult, I assure you. The proving will begin shortly. I'm sure you can find a place in the stands. Or were you here to take part in the fight? Well, with politics what they are, many combatants are dedicating their fights to either Prince Balin or Lord Harriman. Mostly Balin. It's a regular parade of past winners out there. Piotr Naidukin always needs a battle unit. He's the prince's cousin. Miyaja and Luke John are twins from the Warrior cast. They fight together, put on a good show. They'll all be in their chambers if you want to talk. Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? We'll just call you Grey Warden seeing as those human names are a real bird to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him in Lord Haramoth's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Idukan and our future King Balan. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is the Grey Warden! That was an exciting start, Warden. Suwern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior casts twin terrors, now fighting for Prince Balan, Viaja, and Luke John. May the stone honor you. You fall. First warrior to 
to fall is vanquished. Fight! Fighting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Paramount's champion has held the field so far. How will he do against one of the legendary Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proved her worth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat! Just as Kiatshet fought as King Bloodvik II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Bojack Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Bojack, Ivo, and Valans. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Bojack Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Paramount picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain. Fighting for his royal cousin Balin, the Oten Iduken has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Harriman, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Iduken. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! Enemies are approaching.
win! Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of My Army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. The ancestors speak through you. Congratulations, Warden. You showed him. The ancestors are smiling on Lord Haramont today. Do not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. I can't believe it! The ancestors came out of the sodding ground to kiss your feet, Duster! 